Hi everybody. Hello. Welcome to day 19. 19. Yeah. You know what tomorrow is? Uh, Thursday. Day 20. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> um, so today we're going to talk about fasting. We're going to talk about my fast. I finished, just finished my 12 day fast. And yep. uh, so we're going to talk about how that went. I made myself some meat broth, and it's so warm. <laughs> it's still so cold. Doesn't help yesterday, last night's wind. Oh man, it's so windy and crazy here. Like semis yeah. are blowing over and things are What was are it? There was, um, in Edmonton there was three... Three semis. Three semis that, fell over. Yeah. In, in one area. Yeah. No, it's crazy. And, and I'm like, I'm colder today. Actually, I feel than I like than I was yesterday. Yeah. So it's gonna be so nice. So I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna drink something. So this is meat broth. Oh. <laughs> something that tastes. Tastes like what? Oh, that is so good. It's good. Oh, that is so good. It is so nice to have a different taste in your mouth. Water only does so much. <laughs> and salt water doesn't do much more. But, um, okay, so what I did every morning... Once upon a time... Mm -hmm, well, 12 days ago. Uh, what I did every morning was I prayed. And I prayed that Jehovah, God would give me the strength and the wisdom to make it through the day. Uh, and to bless my, my fasting. To help heal my body. Because I got a lot of health issues. And... Um, Fasting is supposed to help, and I couldn't have made it through there without him, without yeah. praying. But this is my journey, and this is how I felt. Everybody has their own journeys. Everybody yeah. has their own paths that they need to follow. So well, it's good for one person may not be good for another. Exactly. So um, we'll just get on with this and and. Um, I've got stuff written down because I was asked tons of questions about fasting and stuff. And I, this is the longest one I've ever done. Yeah. Before this, I had done five days. I think I did six days, but on the sixth day, the one time, I think I added butter to my coffee. And I got yeah. crucified for it. <laughs> but so the longest water fast, coffee fast, was five Extended days. Extended fast. Extended fast was five days. So this one was way beyond what I thought I was ever going to do. Yeah. Um, so what I did do, the main thing that I did do was pay attention to my body. Oh yeah. We've if I felt any weird adverse effects. Or yeah. Like I would have something called beyond just hungry. Yeah. And like a cramp or something. I mean, I get those when I eat, anyways. Like a nor like just a normal cramp. But I wanted to Muscle make cramps. sure, yeah, that there was nothing weird. So I always paid attention, like. How, how does my, because sometimes you can feel your insides. How do my insides feel? How do I, you know, yeah. if I got any pains? Yeah. Like so that was the main thing, the main thing that I did. So how much did I lose? So in the 12 days, I've lost 13 pounds. Awesome. But I'll probably gain uh, something back. We'll half watch. of it back, or a quarter of it back, or three quarters of it back. You guys will know. Yeah. I will let you guys know as uh, the day, things go on. And the vlogs keep going. Yeah. And the funny thing is, is I really don't care. Because um, I feel better. Like my clothes are looser and stuff. So, yeah. I mean, it has already accomplished something. Okay. So, how long did I build up to do this? Like, how long did it take me to build up to do this? Um, not really that long. We started on the second with strict carnivore. And then I started on this 12 days ago. 12 days. <laughs> I don't remember what day it was 12 days ago. And uh, for me, doing carnivore first really, really makes a difference. Because yeah. um, when I kind of when I've been cheating and then I try to fast, it doesn't go well. My mind's in the wrong place, my cravings are there, everything else. And uh, with doing it this way on carnivore and then right to this. It seems to be easier, and I seem to be able to do it better and longer. Yeah, apparently. 
I've had trouble with uh, fasting. Yeah. Too. Yeah, you've had a lot of trouble with fasting. Yeah. Mostly with intermediate. Really, what I was able to do yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, you <laughs> forgot to pack him food. <laughs> so then you ended up fasting till like three. <laughs> four. <laughs> nope. We were, oh, right. We were at yeah. home growing at four. So it was about yeah. three. So, um, what did I consume? I had water. A lot of water. I drank a lot of water. I was constantly drinking water. Uh, boiled water with half a teaspoon of salt in it. And I would have coffee with half a teaspoon of salt in it. Anything else? No. That was it. That's what I had. And uh, I had thought about putting butter in. And then as the time got on, it's like, okay, why bother? Yeah, you were thinking about putting some butter on uh, in your coffee on Saturdays. Saturday and Sunday I was going to do it. And then kind of restart fasting again. But... Uh, there was no point. I didn't need it. You felt good. I felt good, yeah. Um, the easiest day? The easiest days that I had, I, I was trying to figure out what would be the easiest days. But it was when we were gone. Yeah. There was two days so you mean out when of the we 12. Were in the city shopping for food? Yeah. Two days out of 12 were the easiest. Hmm. When we were in town and when we were in the city. And both times we shopped for food, and that was the easiest. And, uh, you know, you're up and you're around, and you're walking around, you're doing stuff. And that was, like, I guess because I'm not home. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, I have stuff to do at home, too, but this is, you got to see things, you got to go out, and you got to drive. Distract and it takes you. us an hour to drive there, an hour a little bit, to drive to the city. Yeah. So it was, like, getting out is actually what really made it easier. The hardest days, it was day five. Day five? Halfway. <laughs> day five was really, really hard. And I don't know why, but um, the only thing I could come up with is maybe because I've only fasted five days. So by the time I got to day five, it was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> and I still had like more than half to go. So that's the only thing I can come up with why day five was so, five was so hard. So the starting day, like I've got each day here, it's just a little bit thing. Starting day was easy because I ate and I started fasting at 2.45. And uh, I know I've been saying three, I was just rounding it. But uh, easier to go three than yeah. like 2.45. Um, so I ate, you know, started then. And then it was good. the starting day was easy. Uh, day one, I was a little bit grouchy. Um, went through a couple of really good hunger pains, but even my grouchy, he didn't think I was a grouchy. Yeah. So, um, no, what no, I you felt, aren't grouchy at all. <laughs> yeah, jerk. <laughs> what I felt, <laughs> what I felt, what I felt inside necessarily wasn't what he saw come across. Whereas usually, if I'm grouchy, he knows I'm grouchy. Um, day two was it makes still makes me bug you more yeah. when you're grouchy. Day two still wasn't bad. I had some pretty good hungry spots, but salt fixed that. Okay. So drinking salt water really, like hot salt. My favorite is like boiled salt water. Yeah? Yeah. Salt and coffee? Coffee is, the coffee's good, but I would rather, I, there's a lot of times I would just rather go for just the hot salt water. Hmm. Um, day three, I did great. And I had two coffees that day, but I felt amazing. Day three was really good for me. Day four, I really felt like breaking the fast. But then all of a sudden I started thinking, my shoulder pain is less. And I'm like, whoa, hold it. If my shoulder pain is less, why would I break this fast? Because for me, um, to lift my arm is a real problem. But to do things down below, um, that was a problem too. But like to get out of bed, you know how you kind of push yourself out of bed. All of a sudden, I was able to do that with no pain. Wow. And I'm like, cool. I did not see that. No. Nope. So that encouraged me to keep on going. Uh, day five went... Um, okay, day five is uh, when we got to go out and I found out that I could wear a mask. And my mind felt so much clearer. So, I mean, that was just like another huge thing yeah. of um, 
you know, the the fasting and like prayer and carnivore and everything put together was the wearing the mask. And day six, um, I was sleeping really good and the pain still kept, seemed like it was getting better. See, all from, from day one to day six, my sleep was so much deeper, so much better. And I thought, sweet, it'll carry on this way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> day seven, but cold. That's one thing. Always cold. Uh, day seven, I was cold. Couldn't wait to eat. I started to feel a little bit shaky, but it was no big deal. Went and got myself a salt water. I'm sure the gone. weather outside didn't help with you being cold. Well, day seven wasn't that cold outside. Huh. But like the oh, weather we're having here, so I wonder, good. wonder if they can even hear the wind that's going on. Yeah, we have a lot of wind out there today. Yeah. Even yeah, last night. Crazy. Um, day eight, uh, I was doing great. Day I wasn't eight was hungry. great? Yep, yeah, but I wasn't hungry. I was just missing food. So there's a thing between being hungry and missing food and just wanting to eat. And I realized What's that like difference. To want to eat? I just eat. Yeah, but I just, I realized that difference. And I think that was the biggest growth spark that I had. Yeah. Is that... Just because you want to eat doesn't mean you're hungry. And I think I really learned that this time because there was different times I went through hunger pains and stuff and then I was hungry to eat. But there was lots of times where I was like, I just want to eat, but I wasn't hungry. Yeah. So it was just the missing the food thing. Uh, day nine, um, doing great, not hungry, still missing food, but I did so much on social media. Like we started. Cool. We started and started me on an Instagram account. I'm started on Weebly. I'm start. I'm on Facebook. We're doing yeah. these videos. It all has to do with food. And my Instagram. I'm going through all my pictures of food, and I've got years of, you know, everything from gluten free to carnivore, in it's in standard. between of pictures. And standard. Yeah. And I'm looking through all these pictures of food, and sometimes it would get to me because it's like, man, I'm going to start drooling here pretty <laughs> soon. But I spent all day working on that. And even though I was fasting, it didn't trigger me to eat because I knew I'm fasting and I'm not going to break this. And just went and got myself a glass of water and a hot, a hot salt water, and I just drank through the whole thing. Yeah. And that's what you have to do. You just you just drink and it's like set your mind because you can do it and as long as your body feels good, you know. Uh, day what was that was day nine, day ten, I started getting indigestion and I thought that was so strange. Yeah. I started burping and, and it was and I had a little bit of indigestion and um, I haven't been eating, so like why would I get indigestion? You ate too late. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> but um, I've heard others get indigestion. Yeah. So, so indigestion doesn't have to come from food, then, eh? No, just your stomach acids. Well, that doesn't make sense from what we all, you always hear about, though, no? Mm-hmm. Now I'm drooling. <laughs> yeah, but uh, hmm. so that was interesting. That I because you always hear indigestion comes from food. Yeah. Yeah, but if but you if get you, when you don't you're eat, not eating, how does it come can, from food? You can still get it, yeah. Well, it comes from food too, trust me, I've had that. Oh, yeah. But uh, day 11, we went shopping in the city. So that was the video yesterday we went shopping. And um, I was really wondering how that was going to work. Because here I've gone 11 days without food. How We're going to Costco. Yep. Yeah. I have, um, like I drive, it's like, my baby, yeah. <laughs> even though it's not our baby, but it's my baby, so I drive. <laughs> I have no problem with you driving. <laughs> yeah, he slept. <laughs> and um, the thing is, is um, you know, you drive an hour some in to the city and then you walk through Costco and everybody knows how big Costco is. I had energy. like. I felt amazing like he's passed yeah. out beside me and I'm like all right let's go <laughs> and I couldn't believe it like I was a little worried that I was gonna be like Ugh. and I wasn't 
and uh, just cruised on through there and then went to Superstore and cruised on through there and went homegrown and that was no problem. And yeah. By the time we came home, I was kind of tired. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know. In that video. And my tough thing is when we come home from the city, it's like what we used to do all the time is just sit down and just pig out. Eh? That was hard for me because I couldn't have anything. So that yeah. kind of put me in a little bit of a grumpy. That challenged you? Yeah, very much so. And that kind of put me in a little bit of a grumpy mood. But <laughs> but uh, I knew, like I, I kept counting the hours down. Like I've got, you know, like less than a day to go. So I hours. knew that it was close. Yeah. Um, and then day 12, all I did today was like count the hours. I just kept looking at the clock, counting the hours. I wanted it over with. And 10, 11, and 12, I was jittery every morning when I got up. It was really weird. I had never, like, it's the insides. Yeah. It's like your insides are jittery. And I would take a salt water or a salt coffee, and it would be go away, and I wouldn't have it the rest of the day. Hmm. It would be gone. So that got me through that part. Um, okay, somebody else asked, like, did you feel euphoric? Um, no. <laughs> I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's so wonderful to fast. Um, okay. <laughs> um, I had days that I felt amazing. You said you were very happy, but... Yeah. Oh, I just, I felt great. Normally between happy and content. Yeah. Yeah. But there was days I felt great. And mm -hmm. it was like, I really, really feel good. But it wouldn't last like the whole day. Like I would just go through phases I guess yeah and um, but like he said I was happy to content yeah and um, I don't know it just it didn't actually I was happier than when I used to eat yeah I think uh oh I felt <laughs> yeah I'm starting to eat your journal <laughs> but that's um, okay so how did you feel when oh from day to day um, Pretty much the same. Well, from what we've covered in the last ones. Pretty much the same from just, day to day. It, it just. Yeah. Um, like I said, the biggest thing was missing the food. Yeah. Not necessarily being hungry, but missing the food. Um, how did I get over the mind games? Yeah, that's a fun one. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I found that so interesting. Sometimes, like, like. Like I said before, like I was making whipped cream, and it's like no one will know. Yeah. Oh, well, don't worry, I would know within five where, minutes. Or yeah, so. but where's that thought coming from, right? Well, I'm gonna know, and I'm gonna know that I didn't make it. So it's like you talk yourself out of those things. Um, when I'm really hungry, it's like I need to quit. But then you drink, and it's like oh, I can do this. And one thing um, that you have to sometimes just walk away and put yourself somewhere else. Yeah. And change your, your mind. Focus on different food. <laughs> yeah. But you change your mind and, and focus on something else. Because your mind will be like, well, you need to eat. And you're like, but do I need to eat? Like, how yes. hungry am I? You know, take some water or whatever. Um, I knew by the time, like by the time yesterday came, I knew I was done. It's like I know when I'm done for fasting. And it's every time I've fasted, it's like I know when I'm done. Sometimes I've had to break it on day three. Yeah. Because I'm like, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. And this one, uh, even like there was times I said that, but I wanted to see if I could uh, keep going, and I wasn't done. It was just that moment. That moment, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so around day six or seven, I got uh, some muscle cramps in in my arm. It was really weird. They were really mild. Yeah. But I had this cramp in there, and no matter what I did, it was stuck there. Heck, I've never had that before. Went and got myself some magnesium. It was still there. Got some concentrates. And 
drank that down and I drank a salt water and then it was gone and I never had it again. Hmm. See, that was one of the minutes I'm like, okay, hold it. Am I going to continue this fast? Because it's in my left arm yeah. and it's in here. And uh, anything that happens on my left side, I always freak out because your heart's on your left side, right? But... Is it? Uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but that freaked me out. But I thought if I can get rid of this thing, then it's just the mineral deficiency again, right? Yeah. Just getting up on my minerals and stuff. And it worked. It is, right? It yeah. is. Eat turkey. Um, one thing that bugged me. Me? Was, no. One thing that really bugged me was you get this taste in your mouth. Oh, yeah. I did oil pulling, like, a lot of time, and it didn't help for very long. You brush your teeth. That doesn't help. And it's just a... Because when you have something to eat, you kind of like change the taste in your mouth. Mm -hmm. When you have nothing to eat for days, you're stuck with the taste in your mouth. <laughs> and that was kind of blah. Tough. So lessons to share, sea salt is your friend. Like, don't go only home without it. Um, Coffee's your friend too. Yeah. Coffee's my friend. Coffee works. It doesn't work for everybody because some people get indigestion when they drink. Yeah. Coffee's, coffee's my passing. friend. Yeah, coffee's your only friend. <laughs> um, I like half a teaspoon of um, salt in water that's been boiled. Um, I drink the water cold. I always keep water with me, or always keep salt water with me wherever you go. Um, you have to control your mind to when you're working around food to keep thinking. You know, in the front of your mind, I'm fasting. I'm not going to eat this. Um, you might be hungry, but it does go away. Like it doesn't hang in there for like it won't hang in there for two hours. Like it will go away. Uh, one thing that really I found helped is you put some music on, put music on that you like, and actually, and you do something else or whatever, and that totally takes your mind off your hunger pains, off eating, off everything. Oh, and not you for keep me. Keep going. Not for me. Why? Uh, some of the times when I would, uh, I would wake up in the morning, before breakfast, my stomach would ache. I would get nauseous. Yeah, but you're weird. And uh, it would be like I get a stomach cramp. Mm -hmm. And when I would drink uh, water, it would hurt. Yeah, I know. you got a weird thing there. And it doesn't happen when I'm carnivore, though. Okay. It mostly happens when I'm... Not right carbon. Yeah. Either it happened when I was standard diet. Yeah. Happened when I was gluten free. Well, see, I used to get nauseous when I was standard too. Yeah. When I wouldn't eat, and then I get up in the morning, I was sick. Hmm. So but it. Yeah. It could have to do with the. Did it hurt when you drink water? No. It was. Like, I felt I had. I got upset though. Like I felt like I was gonna throw up. Oh, okay. So it didn't hurt, but I. Because I had the other way. I'd have like a glass of water, and it would just hurt and go. Thump in my yeah. stomach. Yeah, see, mine didn't hurt. Mine just gave me a nauseous feeling. Hmm. So I just thought it was barred water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, um, something else. Um, yeah, I spent a lot of time, like I said before, on social media and doing food pictures and talking about food. And yeah, and in my two groups, talking about food. And your life, everybody it, else's food. Your pictures. life is surrounded by food. Yeah, it is. It's totally, and it's. Food that I used to eat and food that I do eat, and um, I can't get away from it. So you deal with it. Like when you, you are cook, a great example of that. Yeah. So you can do it when you're cooking for your family, because I make breakfast for mom and dad every morning, and yeah. and you make sure I have food. Well, I make sure he's got like a steak thrown in the fridge. <laughs> that was about what I was doing. You need food, can't throw a steak in the fridge. Nice. <laughs> you're done to go. Juicy. Yeah, State. don't worry about it because I'm maybe sucking them back next week too. Yeah. <laughs> or at the end of next week. Does that mean um, I'm getting kicked off those steaks again? Yes. <laughs> um, and the thing is, is, if you have to cook for your family, make it simple. Yeah. Like I made a lot of hamburgers and I made a lot of meatloaves and just make it simple so that you don't have to spend that much time in there. Okay. And that'll help. You know, a recipe like the hamburgers, like I know it's like a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon pepper, two pounds of hamburger, mix it up, 
4.5 ounces, done. Have, throw them in the, in the oven, you guys have got food for a couple days. Okay. Easiest thing in the world, don't go complicated. And uh, the smell of food, okay, let me tell you about the smell of food. What about it? <laughs> we were, um, <laughs> like he said, we were at Costco and he's like, I haven't eaten. And he was really getting hungry. And I'm like, well, do you think you're hungrier than I am? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, right. I just yeah. finished 11 days. You ain't hungrier than me. So then I'm like, oh, go get yourself some like pepperonis or something that you can chew on. Because I know store. he's kind of got a weird. I got that weird thing going he's on. He's got that weird thing going on until he gets his stomach all fixed up there. But So he needs it. So he'll eat. <laughs> so he's sitting there. And he opens these things when we're in the vehicle. And all I can smell is pepperoni, like everywhere. And I love these things. And I'm like, trying not to drool all over the place. I remove temptation. I finished them all. Yeah, you finished the whole bag. Quickly. But all I can smell was pepperoni. Like it was, oh. But I mean, just because you can smell it doesn't mean you need to eat it. And if you're fasting. And I ate it. Yeah. But if you're fasting. Just because you're smelling this stuff doesn't mean you have to eat it. Grab your glass of water and drink. That's yeah. what I did. I was like sucking back my coffee in the vehicle. And it's just keeping focused and make sure you have your magnesium. Make sure, you know, like yeah. for me, it was, you know, concentrates, but I only took it two, twice. Yeah. And that's just minerals and stuff like that. I only took it twice on the whole thing. And I don't take it all the time when I'm eating either. I take it when I feel I need it. Mm -hmm. Like if I feel something's off, and um, don't lose your focus. Like I mean, you can, you know, there's in groups and stuff. Like Dr. Fung's group, like his is amazing. They really cheer you on. They'll help you out. And they'll, they're fantastic. And the main point, it is 100% your journey. Like yeah. this was my journey. I was, Have fun on it. I, was told, yeah. I was told by a guy, what, like after 10 days, you only lost like, what was it, 11 pounds. 11 pounds. After 10 days, you only lost 11 pounds or something wrong. Excuse me, like, hello? <laughs> You're losing water weight. And my first week at this, I lost 8 pounds. So, I mean, I lost a lot of my water weight when I started carnivore. So yeah. losing this, I mean, I wasn't, Probably not you can only lose so much water weight, <laughs> you know, like I didn't have a lot going into in, it. Yeah. So, I mean, everybody's journey is in itself. Don't let anybody tell you that, talk you down. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, this journey that I'm telling you about is mine. Yeah. And everybody, has to, that. everybody has to live their own and everybody has to figure out how they're going to do it on their own. And uh, the benefits that I have seen, I have less pain and I've learned that I have an awful lot of determination. Oh yeah. And that, I didn't, like I mean I've seen it when I've been bedridden and stuff, but I've never seen it in any other aspect in my life. And this really showed me that, you know, I can really you can conquer anything. push through. Yeah. Um, excuse me. Ha. I'm empty. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I want coffee. It tastes so good. <laughs> um, I lost weight, of course. I lost information. Inflammation. You lost information? Um, my shirts are, are looser. Like, even this one's yeah. looser than it was when I wore it last time on camera. Uh, my pants are baggier. My clothes yeah. are more comfortable. Um, one thing that I haven't told you yet, uh -oh. that I just noticed this morning, mm -hmm. you know, when I was like just bedridden, all of a sudden my, my right knee went, poof, right? Yeah. And it really blew up. And I've been dealing with um, it being swollen. so swollen. Injured knees. And it, I mean, it blew up for no reason. Like <laughs> my back is bad and also my knee goes, poof. And, um, poof. That happened last time, like the yep. two a year two years ago when I was bedridden, and my finger, like this finger, went. Phew. It's weird because when my back goes, another part of my body goes. Okay, so that knee, 
I noticed this morning all of a sudden yeah. bends. Yeah. It's not like lo like um, so well, stiff. Like it's bending now. And your knee and your back's better. Well, Could your finger and your knee be connected to your back. Well, I'm sure your they back are. Is a tree. Because your yeah yeah your back is yeah. I'm sure and they your are. Limbs some are broken. <laughs> branches. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so my knee is doing a lot better, which really surprised me. Yeah. Because I never even thought about it. And it's like the inflammation has gone down. And I had to start thinking hour to hour because it's like, ugh. when I thought, you know, on day five or whatever, I've got so many days, it was like, that's too much to conquer. But when I thought, Looking okay, ahead was yeah. tough. When I looked to hour Endgame. or I looked till to like tomorrow morning, it made it so much easier. Focusing well, on the end game was hard. Yeah. Because I kept thinking, why did I promise her I'm going to do her fast? Like, I must be nuts. Who's fast? Paola. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to say your name this time. <laughs> I've been practicing it like crazy. But, um, but you still can't. I still can't. <laughs> But when, um, like, I thought, I must be nuts promising, yes, you like, are. telling her I'm going to do this. Yes, you are. But then, as it started going on, I didn't need the, oop, oop, I didn't need the extra, like, the yeah. extra fat that I was going to take. And uh, you keep listening to people, too, like, you know, how should you break your fast? And that's, like, a, a scary thing. Um, scary. Would I recommend anybody do this? No. <laughs> It's hard. Like, I'm not kidding you. It is hard. Yeah. I know guys that have done way more than me. And uh, that guy, he, like, good the, for you. <laughs> the, one, no, the one guy I know, he's yeah. a rock star man. Yes, he is. I look to him a lot for really good advice. And I've got, I've got like. Would you do that in his life? No. No? No, 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 no. Um, my dad's already freaking out that I did 12. Like, he looks at me last night, I'm like, I'm hungry, I'm cold. He looks at me and says, eat. Not yet. <laughs> what are you waiting for? I said, tomorrow. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, you have to know your own body. Yeah. And I'm not going to tell anybody they should do it. I'm not going to tell anybody they shouldn't do it. Um, if you go see your doctor, go see your doctor, whatever. Or just give it a shot, or I'm, however you want I'm to. A, kind of person that does things and then if I need to then I go see my doctor <laughs> I do things that way <laughs> don't follow my example do your own thing you know yeah, you, do. you go to your doctor go to your doctor whatever um, am I gonna fast again definitely but it's probably gonna be three to five days yeah yeah I don't Good know if, I don't know if I'll ever do another 10 yeah yeah but yeah, you're of you. warm <laughs> he's so warm I'm proud of you <laughs> thank you and uh, I am trying that <laughs> but you know so that's you know I'm not warming up yet but I'm sure I will like I'm gonna have some some more meat broth today okay and that's about all yeah, I'm you gonna have me today some? you got food <laughs> <laughs> so that's about all I'm gonna have today tomorrow we'll we'll talk about how the my refeeding is doing yeah so it'll be a lot See how shorter, fed up you get. shorter of a video. I'm still not going to be eating any solid meat yeah. or solid food. That is going to wait until, uh, you know, probably next week. But, uh, so we'll talk about how things are going. And I feel like I finished my cup and I don't feel any different. I feel yeah. fine. Awesome. So, so far, so good. Excuse me. Thank you for joining me on this journey of this crazy fast that she decided to do. I decided to do, which I still haven't figured out why. Yeah, no idea. I don't know why I decided to do this. You're becoming very spontaneous. Yeah, for which the weirdest is really reasons. weird. <laughs> You're not spontaneous. I know, I know. But uh, so we'll see you on day twenty. Bye. Bye.